uh, Allah is talking about the you know, the Romans, they were fighting with the Persians. And Romans lost, and the Persians won by the Dead Sea coast. Like what is modern day Israel, Philistine, that, that area, right? So they, they uh, defeated the, the Romans, the, the, the Romans lost and the Persians won by the coast, okay? By the Dead Sea coast. And the Quran says Rome was dominated in the lowest earth. Like literally says the lowest earth, which is strange language. It doesn't say lower earth, because you know it's like lower elevation. It's kind of like a, a dip in the ground, the valley you could almost say. But it didn't say low earth, it said the lowest of the entire earth, lowest earth. And I was, you know, just looking up the geology of it, because I'm not a geologist. The, the lowest point on the earth is that coast, geologically speaking. Huh? That's a, yeah. That, that, that literally the coast. Underwater, the lowest point on the earth is somewhere in the Gulf of Mexico. Above water, the lowest point on the earth is exactly the coast where the Romans lost. Like geologically. And the Quran says, Rome was defeated in the lowest earth. I'm just starting to think there's something going on with this book. There's things being said that people didn't even ask about when it was first coming down. They didn't even ask about. I wonder what that means. And now we know. And those are the ones who are, who are truly successful. May Allah make us all successful. I'll briefly tell you something about the word muflihun. Aflaha in Arabic, there's faiz. Faiz is also successful. Muflih is also successful. So what's the difference between faizun and muflihun? Muflih is actually the farmer who, you know, he plants the seed, he waters it, he waits for a good year as far as no infestation, he waits for the rain to come, for the crop to grow, for the winds to not destroy his crop. And at the end of that entire year of stress and struggle, he finally harvests the crop. And at the time of harvest, is called fallah, muflih. That's what he's called. In other words, he's successful, but after a long time of labor, Allah says these are the people who are successful, but He used the word for successful that implies in it that it doesn't come without effort. You have to put in a lot of time and effort to get to this success.